بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه ومن والاه بعد السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Yesterday I received a message on WhatsApp and uh, due to the importance of that message I thought of sharing it with you in the form of this uh, short brief uh, video reminder Though that message is short in terms of the number of words it is a profound uh, message I think it's a significant message as well keeping in mind uh, the current uh, situation we are in a three week or maybe even longer uh, lockdown at the moment here in the UK since the announcement made by our Prime Minister uh, last night um, as new rules uh, that are enforced so um, the message in Arabic is as follows عندما أحست نملة بالخطر على أهل قريتها قالت أدخلوا مساكنكم when an ant perceived imminent threat and uh, danger, it called out to the other ants, "Udhulu masakinakum, enter your houses." The message continues, "Ala nistatiyu an nagtabi rabi qisas al Quran." Are we not going to take lessons from the stories of the Quran? I'm sure by now you've gathered this ant. Uh, this message is in reference to the story of Sulaiman alayhi salatu salam and his brief encounter with an ant that Allah Azza wa Jal speaks about. Uh, in Surah An-Naml, Surah 27, uh, verses uh, 17 and uh, 18. Allah Azza wa Jal says, حَتَّى إِذَا أَتَوْ عَلَى وَادِ النَّمْلِ When they came across the valley of the ants, they referring to Sulaiman alayhi salatu salam and his armies of uh, jinn, men, birds and so on. So they were marching and they came across the valley of ants. And when they came across this valley of ants, قَالَتْ نَمْلَ An ant called out, أَيُّهَا النَّمْلِ O ants, أُدُخُلُوا مَسَاكِنَكُمْ Enter your houses. Why? لا يَحْتِمَنَّكُمْ سُلَيْمَانُ وَجُنُودُهُ وَهُمْ لَا يَشْعُرُونَ In case Sulaiman and his armies crush you unknowingly, unwittingly, without knowing. When Sulaiman heard the calling of this ant and the cry and the plea of this ant, what was his reaction? Twofold. فَتَبَسَّمَ ضَاحِكًا مِّنْ قَوْلِهَا وَقَالَ رَبِّ أَوْزِعْنِي And the ayah continues. Uh, the first reaction, he smiled. And after smiling, he made a dua and he beseeched Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. What was this dua in a future video? I will briefly discuss that dua. Now, why did Sulaiman alayhi salatu wasalam smile when he heard this ant uh, and he heard the plea of this ant? Few reasons. Reason number one, perhaps. Uh, reason number one is he was surprised that the ant knew the name of Sulaiman alayhi salatu wasalam because it said, Ayyuhan naml, O ants, udukhulu masakinakum. Enter your, enter your houses, get into your houses in case Sulaiman and his armies crush you without knowing, unknowingly. So Sulaiman was surprised that this tiny ant even knows my name, the importance of knowing people's uh, names. Uh, in any case, reason number two, why did Sulaiman smile? Perhaps Sulaiman smiled at the intelligence of this ant. What did this ant say? This ant knew that Sulaiman is a Nabi of Allah Azza wa Jal, of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the Anbiya of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, likewise the righteous, believers, Muslims, they don't deliberately cause harm to people, let alone causing harm to themselves. Right? They don't cause harm to themselves, neither do they deliberately cause harm to others. So this ant, when it made this cry and this plea to the fellow ants, the, the fellow ants it said, وَهُمْ لَا يَشْعُرُونَ Let it not be that when Sulaiman and his armies are marching and you are outside your ant holes, Sulaiman and his armies might crush you, وَهُمْ لَا يَشْعُرُونَ Unknowingly, without them knowing. They won't do it deliberately, without them knowing. So likewise as believers, we don't cause harm to ourselves, neither do we cause harm to others. Deliberately. That's an important message. Likewise, the third reason perhaps why did Sulaiman alayhi salatu salam smile? And I think this is an important reason as well. Sulaiman alayhi salatu salam smiled because again of the intelligence of this ant. And uh, before I get to this, this, this reason, you know, we are told uh, that the brains of ants are not as complex as the human brain. Uh, they say that the, the, the ant's brain is made up of about 250,000 neurons, whereas the human brain has about a you know, few billions, about 80, 86 billion neurons. So it's the small ant, right? The amount of neurons one mammal, one human has, is the amount of neurons an entire ant colony perhaps uh, will have. So this is just one ant. Yet, what does this ant say to its fellow ants? It perceived danger, this imminent threat. 
Likewise, currently there's, you know, the crisis that we are going through globally. Okay, it's sweeping countries. Every day there are deaths. There's, you know, cases are climbing and increasing at an alarming rate every single day. Every single day. And it seems as though, may Allah forbid, may Allah protect us. But it seems as though here in the United King Kingdom, our country, we are also heading down the, you know, the path of Italy and other such countries. So I think it's important we take this lesson from this ant. If we are not listening to our health professionals, our, you know, the medical experts, the scientists that are telling us, stay indoors, stay indoors, exercise and observe social distancing, stay away from people, don't attend and don't host large gatherings, more than two or more than three people. Don't leave your houses unnecessarily. Only leave if it's essential, if it's important. If you're not listening to them and these experts, then let's listen to this tiny ant. And let's take lesson from this ant. What does the ant say? The ant says to the other ants, Oh ants, it doesn't give them an option because this is urgency. Ayyuhannaml, it cries out, Oh ants, udkhulu masakinakum, enter your houses. Enter your houses because that's where you will be safe. That's where your safety is. Seek refuge in your own houses. At this time of crisis, where this pandemic uh, is unparalleled in perhaps human history in terms of the rate, yes, uh, as uh, humanity, we have experienced other pandemics and other outbreaks like the Spanish flu and the, you know, and, and, and many others, the Justinian plague and, uh, and, and so on and so forth. But in recent history, at least in our, in our life, we've never experienced anything as deadly as this. In conclusion, my advice to you is listen to this ant and pay heed to the cry and the plea of this ant. This ant says to you, Udkhulu masakinakum, enter your houses and remain, get into your houses and remain in your houses. That is where your refuge is. Unfortunately, you know, we still see people roaming the streets and walking around. This is not the time for it. This is not the time for it. We are all in it together. Let's not be selfish. If this ant was selfish, this ant could have ran into its ant hole and threatened and put at jeopardy the lives of the other ants. But that's not what this ant did. This ant was a selfless ant. It wasn't a selfish ant. Let's not act selfishly right now. Let's work together. We are all in it together. And we are all going to struggle together. We are all going to suffer together. So don't risk your lives and don't put the lives of others at risk. I ask Allah Azza wa Jal to keep us safe and to protect us and to protect our families. Keep safe and listen to the advice of this ant. Jazakumullah khairah wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabina Muhammad. وعلى اله وصحبه اجمعين واخر دعوانا ان الحمد لله رب العالمين